Well, everyone, I wanted to go ahead and break down some of my favorite older iPhones that have amazing cameras. Now, these particular iPhones are going to range in terms of ages, but I wanted to kind of make sure that they were going to be the best of the best old ones that I could probably recommend buying. The first thing I'd probably tell you though, is that the first set of iPhone or the first iPhone that I'd probably recommend is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is such an amazing sweet spot between having a really good camera performance and having an older type of iPhone. And with something like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this is an iPhone that's going to be giving you some of the best capability and the best quality that you can basically get instead of a used iPhone. So the 13 Pro Max came out back in 2021. And with this type of iPhone, you are getting such a solid build and the camera itself is amazing. Triple camera setup, wide ultra wide telephoto lens, but you're also getting 4K at 60 on the front and the back of this particular iPhone, which I think is actually a very, very important thing to have. When you're buying something like an iPhone, like an iPhone 13 Pro Max, you're basically getting a device that's going to be holding up very, very well from that performance side. And I think from the camera side, it's also another really nice thing going on for this particular iPhone as well. And I generally, and I genuinely do think if you're going through picking up an iPhone, this is a very cool thing that you're going to be getting on this particular device. I also do think another iPhone that you can throw in here as well, it's cheaper than the 13 Pro Max, it's the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, and these particular iPhones, this is also a different kind of situation going on here too. So with these particular devices, the cool thing here is that these are, you know, a little bit of a different setup of phones. They're not the cheapest phones of all time, you know, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, but they are cheaper than the 13 Pros, and there's a lot of similarity. The 12 Pro, you know, you're getting the wide ultra wide telephoto lens, 4K 60 on the front and the back. The big difference here though that you're probably going to notice is that with something like the iPhone 13 Pro, you are getting cinematic mode, which is like portrait mode for video. With the iPhone 12 Pro, you are not going to be getting that. You're basically going to be getting, you know, standard, you're not gonna be getting cinematic mode on that particular phone. So I do think this in and of itself is another very big thing to kind of keep in mind with this particular device as well. I do think another iPhone you could probably throw in here too is the 11 Pro Max and the 11 Pro. These are older iPhones that are still maintaining things like 4K 60 on the front and the back, telephoto ultra wide, you know, wide angle lens. So that stuff is really, really cool and I love having that. Are they perfect phones? No but these are very good iPhones that aren't necessarily the newest and latest and greatest that are still going to be giving you very good cameras for how old these phones are. But like I mentioned, if you're wanting a better camera, you can always go for the 14 Pros or the 15 Pros. Those are definitely going to be better, but I still love my iPhone 13 Pros and the, even the 12 Pro and the 11 Pros too. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.